Well, I'm not going into details well, about no, the, it's, it's the, nego it's the it's negotiations. Not, it's not in detail. It's absolutely crucial. Yeah, the it's, question it's, is, <laughs> are we converging still or are we diverging? The, are we going to diverge? The question, of course, we will have the power to choose for ourselves whether or not to diverge once we have left the supranational legal structures of the EU. It is then a matter for a British government and a British parliament to decide, well, there may be some areas, as the PM said, okay. out at front, where we want to achieve, frankly, the similar objective to the EU27, but to do it in a different way. There may be other areas where actually we decide, no, actually we have a slightly different objective in, in this area. Others, where we're trying to do the same the same objective through exactly the same means, in which case it makes sense for those areas to work very closely together. Jacob Rees-Mogg said recently, if everything is delayed for two years, as it will be, and then there's high alignment, as it seems there will be, you will find that by 2022, no one will have noticed any difference from having left. Then what will be the point of voting for the Conservatives, you go on to say? Well, I think, first of all, uh, Jacob, like everybody else, just needs to see how the negotiations go. We're about to start negotiations, and I'm not going to get into detail about that process. Secondly, the very fact that we will have left the European Union is a big deal indeed. The bill in front of Parliament extinguishes the power of the European Court and supranational EU law over the UK. We will have, from next year, a registration system that we've not had before for EU nationals coming to this country okay. to register to show they're entitled to so, be in the UK. Those are big, big so differences. So why do you think that people who watch this very closely, like Theresa Villiers this morning, thinks that it's going to be virtually no different from where we are at the moment, that we are not going to really notice a difference? This is a virtual non-Brexit. Oh, I, I want, um, don't get me wrong, Andrew, I want British businesses who trade across Europe and European businesses who trade with supply lines into the UK as to have, have trade as, possible. as undisrupted as possible. And we're doing, we're aiming to do that while at the same time delivering but, what the people okay. voted for, which is the bringing back of control over our laws here.